What's up guys, we got a little different video today. I just picked up this 2002 Tomos Targa. It's a two stroke with the A35 engine on it. Um, cost me about 150 bucks. It sort of runs. It'll run with starting fluid, but it needs a good bit of work done to it. It's only got 320 something miles on it. So it's had a hard life for not doing much. We'll say that. It was a barn find. Um, the guy I bought it for found it in a barn and it was beat to crap. You can see the throttle is not on it, um, but I should have parts coming in today to fix everything. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around of what I've already done because I've done a, some things off camera, not much. But I did pull the plastics off. All the plastics are here for the bike and they're in pretty decent shape actually. The only one that's messed up is uh, this fairing right here. Um, I went ahead and deleted the oil system. If you don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple. Um, there's a little canister that holds the oil right there. Take that out, you cut the lines and you wanna remove the oil pump. That's pretty much it. I ordered a just knockoff Delorto carb. It was about $19. Um, We'll see how that works. And then I got an air filter. Both of those things were from Amazon, so I spent around 28 bucks for those in total. The pedcock was clogged, I pulled that off. Um, it should run with a new pedcock is my thought. It doesn't need much. This is where the uh, oil feed goes into. You can't see it very well because of the lighting, but I just put a little vacuum cap over that and then tightened it down. Um, I've seen some other videos where they've done that. So we should be good there. If not, I'll address that later, but I just went to AutoZone and got a vacuum cap. Um, yeah, so if we look at the spark plug, uh, it's, it's really ghetto looking. So I have a new spark plug boot coming. We'll put that on hopefully in this video. And then I gotta fix the throttle. I got a new gas cap coming. I got a new exhaust coming. Um, we're gonna rejet the carb. And what else do we have? There's really not much to do to this thing. Um, I got a new exhaust, I think I just said that. Uh, hopefully we'll be riding it by the end of the day. I have all the screws for these. It's just not in because it was laying down in the back of my Jeep. Um, but hopefully we'll be riding this thing around today. With the uh, exhaust pipe and the aero filter, we should be hitting around 40 from what I've read. But I only bought one jet, which is stupid of me. So let's hope the size I got works because I don't really have anything else to do. Okay, so I got everything from Treatland in the mail about 10 minutes ago. I just opened it all up. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I got and then we're gonna start working on the bike. So I got some new gas line um, and then these are the little clips to hold that in place. Got a fuel filter because the gas tank's a little bit rusty. Um, new pet cock because I needed one. Um, and then a new gas cap. We got a throttle spring and a throttle slider. Mine was disintegrated. This is like a $10 screw. It's ridiculously expensive. Um, a 58 jet for the carb. I need more jets. This is the one that I figured would work the best. When you buy these cheap uh, Chinese knockoff carbs, um, I think they come with a 70 jet and that's just not gonna work. Also, if you buy these cheap Chinese knockoff carbs, you're gonna need a 1.5 milli millimeter Delorto shim. And then there's a little gasket that goes in there and um, that is, that's how you're gonna get to fit. So it just slides in there like that. Um, I bought two exhaust gaskets cause I can't read. Uh, new throttle cable, pretty excited about that. I uh, got two grips cause I was missing one grip and they didn't have the other side. So that was like eight bucks. Um, this is for the brake cable, a spark plug boot. I got oil and some cheap type F transmission fluid because um, Treeland was having a sale and I was just trying to hit that $100 mark. And then for the exhaust, we went with the Techno Boss or, um, yeah, this. So it's about a $60 pipe, but it was 15% off and it had free shipping. So I went with this. Um, I know it was one of the cheaper options, but it has decent reviews and hopefully it sounds good on the bike. So I guess the first thing we're gonna do is try to get that throttle working. So I'm gonna go out there and we're gonna work on that for a little bit. And if I can get all that done, um, 
just throw this on there, fix the spark plug, and it should run, hopefully. Hopefully there's not too much work involved. But uh, let's go out there and see how the bike looks. Okay, guys, so I was attaching the new throttle cable and this throttle slide. Just take it off real quick. It was cracked when I got it. You can see right there. Well, I tightened the screw down and it fell into pieces and now the screw won't go in. So I can't fix my throttle today, which is disappointing. But what I do have is a new petcock right here. Looks a little long. We'll see how that works. And well, we can do the gas cap now. Look at that. The gas cap's on. Looks good. So what I'm going to do is slap this petcock on. Uh, super easy. I don't know if I have room for this fuel filter. We'll see. Um, and then this will be the last thing I do because I just don't feel like doing it right now. And it runs with that jankiness. And then we'll try to start up the bike, see how that works, and go from there. Also, I gotta change out the jet and the carb. And this is just a quick uh, thing for the jetting. This is the jet that the Chinese carb comes with. It's very big. And this is a 58 jet, which is a lot smaller. So you have to change the jet for this carb to run right. Um, so I'm gonna put this in there and then attach the pedcock and fuel line. All right, I have the new pedcock on and I put this in the new fuel line. I could not get the fuel filter to fit. There's just not much room in there and I didn't feel like messing with it. I might try it again in the future, but for the time being, it's fine. It has a 58 jet in it now. Um, I think I'm gonna try to start it. So I'm gonna mix up some gas. I think it'll start, honestly. And if it starts, I'll slap the new exhaust on it and fix the uh, spark plug. Um, oh yeah, and obviously do the air filter and change this fluid after all that's done. But I, I wanna hear it run today. I, I have to hear it run today. I emailed uh, the company about the throttle bolt because this is uh, the top of it broke off. So now there's no threads and I can't get the throttle to work. I might mess with that later. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go put an air filter on this, uh, fill it up with gas. And I tighten this down. This is the oil feed line. Um, I deleted the oil system. So this is just a vacuum cap over it. And I tight this tighten this down pretty tight. Um, so yeah, if if it starts, I'll do an exhaust comparison from stock to uh, aftermarket. So yeah, let's try that out. All right, so a couple things. I didn't have the float right and floated the carb and gas got everywhere, but I fixed it. Um, it seems like it's doing good now. And turn the gas on. And I got the cap on. I have not tried to start this thing yet, so. First kick. Look at that. First kick. I barely even kicked that thing. we know that it runs pretty good um i think it's time to address the exhaust because i have nothing else to do because i can't fix my throttle which sucks but i have this cable right now and that is what we will use so i'm gonna do the exhaust all right so the exhaust is barely on there like i'm surprised because there was hardly anything holding this thing in um it's kind of warm yeah, it just popped right off. So I guess I'm sorry. Right. That looks sick. That's the old exhaust. That's the new one. Um, well, let's turn it on. Let's see if it'll start again with one kick. Move this throttle cable out the way.
that's all for this video. Maybe next video I'll fix that throttle and uh, take her for a ride. But yeah, I think it sounds good and it looks cool. Thanks for watching.